This is going to be exciting. And on track, front and centre, is the sprinting sensation that everybody is talking about, Shakari Richardson. She's already won the 100 here, of course. She's trying to do something that hasn't happened at the US National since 2003, and that is to pull off the 100 and 200 meter double. And based on her first round race, she is well capable of doing just that. Let's introduce you to the field. National champion a couple of years ago, Sonia. This is Gabby Thomas. And she's the fourth fastest woman ever at this event. I talked to her coach, Tanja Buford Bailey. She feels like she's in better shape than she was that season and thinks she's ready for something super special here tonight. In lane five, Shakari Richardson told Lewis Johnson the other night, I'm ready. I'm here. I'm not just here, but I'm better. She showed me some athletic maturity earlier today by not running the semifinal all out. She took it easy, but her personal best of 22 flat, I think, has another 20 seconds of life. She's going to run under 22, I think she may. And Gabby Thomas probably looked at this lane draw and went, oh my gosh, this is going to be a great race for me. She <laughs> loves this track. Her personal best is on this track. She'll be on the outside in eight, Steiners in seven. And they all better watch for young Miss Shakari Richardson in five. There she is. The world lead is 2171, set just a few minutes ago by Sharika Jackson, the world champion. Toyota Women's 200, final. When I talked to Tanja Buford Bailey, she said the reason why she has so much confidence in Gabby Thomas's ability to make this team, it's not just because she's Gabby Thomas, it's because she didn't run the 100. Usually yes. she's yes. coming into the 200 yes. with the rounds of the 100 in her legs. No such situation this time. So it's not out of the question that Gabby Thomas runs a personal best here. She's got a clear head too. All of her studies are finally done. She does. She's also <laughs> been running great 400s, as you know, son. And hundreds. All right, let's reset. Let's go again. Better this time for the Toyota Women's 200 final. Shakari Richardson responded to the gun amazingly, and she's going to try to create separation because she knows that everybody else is going to be coming. She leads off the turn. Look at that li white leg sock on the left of your screen, though. Here comes Gabby Thomas. Gabby Thomas is not going to be dominated here. Thomas is going to get another national title. 21-59. That is a new world lead. Gabby because she had done it before and she looks like an athlete that has been here before. Shakari looks good off the turn, but it's Gabby's strength from running those 400s, running those hundreds, and really fine tuning and focusing on her pet event that paid off big for her today. Yeah, this wasn't really close. Shakari did a great job off the turn, but the experience, as you said, and the strength, a world leading time 2160. And wow, what a class this is going But that time now is finalized at a 2160. It's a new world lead. It's a meet record. Gabby beat her own meet record. And there's Shakari. She goes to Hungary for both the 100 200. Let's hear from Gabby Thomas with Lewis. All righty, after signing a few autographs, after blitzing the field, Gabby, how did it feel to come across the line in such a dominant fashion? Um, it felt really good to retain my title. Coming here last year and being injured was really heartbreaking for me. So I was really ready this year and I was hungry. I wanted it more than I think anyone. So I'm so excited. My team up to, uh, teammates up in the booth are talking about the strategy that you and Tanja Buford Bailey worked out. No yeah. 100 rounds in your legs. How much did that help you be successful today? I mean, she really had to convince me not to do the 100. And I really had my doubts up until yesterday, really. But I think it was good. I, we had to be conservative this year and it hit off, obviously. Yeah. <laughs>